Hi, this is on a quick tutorial about Google Fonts. So uh, you need to go to fonts.google.com. Okay, you will see a list of fonts here. The list with uh, featured is a directory. I am uh, usual go to directory, see the list of long list of fonts you'll see okay and there is a categorize for these fonts you want to serve sansref sansref i think it's gone and uh, i think it's good for sansref for now okay let's help you to quick sorting and looking for a good font you're using inside the website to like prefer to p sharp and readable whatever is small or a big and not pixelated and you know the font is the peak hero inside the website okay so I want to choose for example for this quick tutorial here so no NATO okay so you you need to check uh, inside a paragraph for example and this is for a sentence and whatever it's for testing then just check for the numbers how it look like for now I will go to paragraph there is a um, list of styles for this font for the bold light regular okay so if I'm choosing for the bold so like this is another level of bold okay and for the font size if I choosing if what's look like in the uh, small for the 8px I think the smallest one and check for the for example what would look like in in the heading styles so I think this good font is not bad it's very good okay so change for the light how it looks like it's very good too change uh, but I think in the low font size it's not readable but here it's good sharp readable that's good so for adding this font to our website we need to click this on plus button and you will see it will it added here in the down you click on this widget you will see there is uh, some options here you, you have to care about this green I prefer that it's always be green because if you adding some styles for example here click on customize it's like to the list of styles you need to embed you according to your needs of course for I don't need for the light I want to using regular for example if I add a bold it's okay it's still loading fast if I add light it change to the moderate so you are in the dangerous level but not so dangerous so if I add another extra bold or whatever here oh yeah so it go to a load time very slow it's affecting all the page loading so some pages you open in your L you will see that the image is like look like a blank and once the font is loaded suddenly in your screen this is according to the the font family weight so this is all uh, put uh, 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 adding a, f a size to the font file and the loading time and reflect on the page loading time we want to care about that so I just need the regular and the pulled and it's enough for me it's a loading time it will be fast and I want that too the language some more size for according to its language you they need uh, to adding some special characters and for now we just uh, choose a default and back to embed so there is two types of embed the standard type it's a, just an HTML link tag you want to copy move to your HTML I'm using here um, 
the Visual Studio Code is very good. This is the link tag for loading the font, and inside the style or the CSS file. Okay, we will back here, and we will copy that here. Sorry, we want to set it for the body or for a specific tag you want. Okay, what does it mean? It will mean that you need to load Nonento. If it doesn't load, you need to set the font to sans ref. Okay, and save. Okay. I want to test this. So I'll click on go live down here. It's a very useful it's a very useful extension for Visual Studio could not don't, don't need to set up uh, an Apache or a .NET uh, local host okay and I um, I want to make sure that the font is loaded so I click right click and choose inspect or control shift I if you want a shortcut and choose H1 looking here say that the font family is applied to Nanonto successfully and I want to make sure again so going to the network tab I'll click refresh okay so down here you will see that there is a, a request and the response from the Google font that the font is loaded okay that's good for what about the second option for embedding the font so go to import and we will just copy this import line we will pack to our HTML and we will remove we didn't we don't know we don't need sorry the link tag and we paste inside the style or the CSS file and save and we will pack and refresh again so nothing that's good it's all working it's come from Google that's all about embedding Google fonts inside your website thank you for watching don't forget to thumb up or subscribe from my channel thank you